Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's video is on rotation in ballroom dancing. We'll be showing you five different exercises to help you practice and giving you some tips along the way. In this first example, Talissa is demonstrating for you with her arms down by her side, rotating from left to right. With the arms in this position, you should be able to feel a nice connection of both sides of your body through your hips and into your thighs. This is a good base exercise to begin your rotation. Talissa now moves to holding her hands on her hips. The contact on the hips will actually help you to increase your awareness of the hip block itself. As you can see, Talissa maintains the connection of both sides and her hips into her leg action. You might also notice that Talissa's head remains facing the camera at all times and her shoulders rotate from left to right. This is a separation of the rotation between the head block and shoulder block and is very useful. You can see that very clearly from the back as well. You might also notice that Talissa's leg action is actually quite active. As she lowers, she commences the rotation to the other side and as she rises through her legs, that completes the rotation. And this is done in both directions. With her hands on her chest, this now becomes slightly more difficult as we must continue to rotate throughout the whole body. Rotation is very useful for dancing with a partner as it helps us to stay together and to swing freely. Tilsa now moves to the aeroplane arm position with her arms out to the side. This is probably the hardest exercise in today's video yep. as the further your arms get from your center, the larger the circle is for turn and therefore they have to move faster. The final exercise in today's video is in normal ballroom frame as you would dance with your partner. This is probably the most practical exercise from today's video as this is what you will do when you dance. We hope you've enjoyed this video on rotation in ballroom dancing. We hope that you find it useful and that you can practice it yourselves. Stay tuned for some more videos from Jonathan and Lisa. Thanks for watching guys and please subscribe.